A Sunset, by Thomas Frederick Young, O come, said I unto my love, and let us view the setting sun, and watch the fleeting clouds above, so brightly colored, every one. Thus lightly to my love, I spake, and she responded lightly, too, and by my side her place did take, her young heart gladdened by the view. I walked along, she tripped. Beside, short was the time, until we stood above the rolling, glassy tide, above old Huron's mighty flood. Oh, see, said I, the glorious sight, now spread before our favored gaze, the clouds all flame, the sea all light, the sun, one grand, terrific blaze. E'en such a time, and such a scene could not love's gentle power dispel. I saw my love's grave, thoughtful mien, I turned and said, your thoughts pray tell. My thoughts, oh yes, since you request, my thoughts were centered all in you, as changed my gaze from crest to crest, across the glassy ocean's blue, and as I saw the waters shine with polished splendor from the sun, thus gleamed, I thought, this love of mine, thus shall it gleam till life is done, and as I saw the bars of gold, and clouds with crimson deeply dyed, your love, I thought, was wealth untold, and my heart's blood, your crimson tide. And yours, I said, your love to me is one great, shining, glassy flood. Your face, reflected, there I see, so beautiful, so bright and good, my nature glows at thy dear name, with deep, red heat, like yonder ball. It shines with constant, ruddy flame. It shines for you, but tinges all. But see, the sun has sunk to rest, as if beneath the distant wave, but still the colors in the west, show that he still shines from his grave. And thus, my love, when I shall sink into the dark and dread unknown, tis surely just for us to think, some rays shall shine for thee alone. And if it be my fate to stay, while thou shalt calmly sink to rest, tis surely right for me to say, some light from thee shall cheer my breast.